So we have this image in political science, economics, the humanities, philosophy for that matter, that man is a wolf to man. And so deep down our nature is actually nasty. I think it's a very unfair image for the wolf. Uh, the wolf is, is after all a very cooperative animal. And, and that's why many of you have a dog at home, which has all these characteristics also. And it's very unfair to humanity, because humanity is actually much more cooperative and empathic than, you, than they're given credit for. And so I started getting interested in those issues and studying that in other animals. It's our fairness study. Uh, and so this, this, this became a very famous study, and there's now many more, because after we did this about 10 years ago, uh, it became uh, very well known. And we did that originally with capuchin monkeys, and uh, I'm going to show you the first experiment that we did. It has now been done with dogs and with birds and with chimpanzees. The one on the left is the monkey who gets cucumber. The one on the right is the one who gets grapes. The one who gets cucumber, note that the first piece of cucumber is perfectly fine. The first piece she eats. Uh, then she sees the other one getting grape, and you will see what happens. So she gives a rock to us, that's the task, and we give her a piece of cucumber and she eats it. The other one needs to give a rock to us, and that's what she does. And she gets a grape, and she eats it. The other one sees that. She gives a rock to us now, gets again cucumber. This study became very famous, and we got a lot of comments, especially anthropologists, economists, uh, philosophers. They didn't like this at all because they had decided in their mind, I believe, that, um, that, that uh, uh, fairness is a very complex issue and that animals cannot have it. And so one philosopher even wrote us that it was impossible that monkeys had a sense of fairness because fairness was invented during the French Revolution. <laughs> so, I believe there's an evolved morality. I think morality is much more than what I've been talking about, but it would be impossible without these ingredients that we find in other primates, which are empathy and consolation, uh, pro-social tendencies, and reciprocity and a sense of fairness. And so we work on these particular issues to see if we can create a morality from the bottom up, so to speak, without necessarily God and religion involved, uh, and to see how we can get to an evolved morality. And I thank you for your attention.